Well, now we're going to be working with the Pythagorean theorem and the distance formula. It's a lesson that I hope you will enjoy. I really enjoy this part. All right, first of all, let's start out with the Pythagorean theorem. Um, you may already know what the theorem is and when to use it. Um, if you don't, what we need to use, first of all, are right triangles. So we'll start with a right triangle. You probably already know that a right triangle has an angle which is 90 degrees. One of the angles is 90 degrees. Okay. The sides that are around the angle which is 90 degrees we're going to call as A and B. Sides A and B are called the legs. The legs of the triangle. The side that is opposite the 90 degrees is called the hypotenuse. Okay. So a right triangle has a 90 degree angle, the legs, and the side opposite the angle 90 degrees is called the hypotenuse. Well, you might remember that that is the setup for the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem says, if we have a right triangle, and I'll indicate that by making a, a square angle here, which means a right angle, if we have the legs, which are A and B, and the hypotenuse C, then the Pythagorean theorem says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. It's a famous theorem um, developed by Pythagoras, a Greek who lived a long, long time ago. And it's uh, a theorem that we use uh, very much in uh, mathematics. Let's have a problem with this. And we're told that the legs of the right triangle, um, one of them is six units, let's say six inches. We don't know, but we're told that the hypotenuse measures nine inches. Okay. Now, since we have a right triangle, we know that we can use the Pythagorean theorem that says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And now all we need to do is fill in the information into this formula and solve for b. Since we know that a is 6 inches, if we square 6 plus b squared, we will have c squared. But c is 9, so that gives us a 9 squared on the right. So we have 36 plus b squared is equal to 81. That then allows us to which is going to be 81 minus 36. And 81 minus 36 is the same thing as 45. So b squared equals 45. 11 minus 6 is 5. 7 minus 3 is 4. But we, since we know about roots, we can say that b is plus or minus. We know that b is a dimension square root of 45. If we simplify this radical, you know that 45 is composed of 9 times 5, so we can say that we're taking the perfect square outside the radical. And we're talking about inches, and so this, in this case, we have b, which is um, 3 times the square root of 5 inches. In order to have an idea of how long this is, you can put that in your calculator and get an approximation for that number. Now, the nice thing about the Pythagorean theorem is that it's used in many different places. And one of the places that we're going to use it is to find the distance between two points on. Suppose we have point A with coordinates 3, 
negative 3 comma 2, and suppose we have point B with coordinates 5 comma negative 4. Okay. Let's look at the coordinate axis that I have here. A would be 3 units to the left and 2 units up, so it would be approximately here. A with coordinates minus 3 comma 2. B has coordinates 5 comma negative 4, so um, about here, 5 units to the right, and 4 units down below, so approximately here. Now, what I'm interested in is in finding the length of the line that joins these two points. Okay, I'm interested in finding the distance AB where A is the point negative 3, 2, and B is the point 5, comma, negative 4, okay? The way we're going to do this is we're going to construct the right triangle. Let's start out with A, and let's drop a perpendicular, in this case, through the point, which is across from point B. Let's do the same thing with B, drop a perpendicular through the y-axis until this, it meets the other line, which was dropped from point A. Suppose we call this point C. Let's try to notice that what we have just formed is we formed a right triangle. Triangle ABC. Okay? Uh, for this leg right here. Okay, because for the Pythagorean theorem, we would need a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, c is right below the point a, so it's as far uh, from the y-axis as a is. So the x coordinate is as far below the x-axis as the point b is. So the y-coordinate of c is going to be negative 4. That helps us a lot. In finding the length of AC, and let's go ahead and give these uh, legs the name. Suppose we call this one A, and suppose we call this one C, and actually we're going to be referring to it later as D for distance. But right now it's the hypotenuse, let's call it C. Let's remember that since this is a right triangle, then the Pythagorean theorem applies A squared plus B squared. Now, we're interested in finding the distance between A and C. Well, notice that the x-coordinate is the same, so the only thing that's going to be important there are, is the, are the y-coordinates. Notice the x-axis, and C is 4 units below the x-axis, so we should end up with a distance. Um, you measure the distance along a straight line as the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates. So we can say it's the absolute value of 2 minus the y-coordinate of c, which is an a, or, which is the same thing as c, 6. Now, for a, we'll do the same thing. Notice that a, uh, c, and b are at the same distance away from the x-axis, so the thing that is important there in terms of the distance are the x-coordinates. It's to the left of the y-axis, and B is 5 units to the right of the y-axis. It's a total of 8 units. But once again, what we can do is use what we learned early, earlier and, and say the distance along a straight line is the difference of the coordinates, in this case, the x-coordinates. It's the uh, absolute value of negative 3 minus 5. That says the absolute value of negative 8, which is the same thing as 8, and we've already figured that out. So a then is 8, so 8 squared plus b squared, b is 6, so 8 squared plus c, 6 squared equals c squared. Okay, remember that it's c that we want because plus 6 squared. Well, 8 squared is the same thing as 64, 6 squared is the same thing as 36, 64 plus 36 is 100, so c squared. or minus the square root of 100, but because we're working with distance here, we're going to take the positive square root, and we end up with uh, C being equal to 10 units. Okay?
So we found that the distance in this case is 10 units. We found the distance between two points by using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay. In general, we're going to proceed exactly the way we did with this example. We're going to plot the two points that we have. We're going to draw a right triangle, and then we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay. So doing following the same steps that we have here, we're going to be doing it in general. 